Conic Lad with another figure review, this time of the DC Superheroes Bizarro, which I, uh, I got him a long time ago. He, he's just like, uh, he was made by the Four Horsemen, and they're the same guys that do the DC Universe classics. I got this figure because he's my, uh, favorite Superman villain, and, uh, <clears throat> paint job on him is really nice. They had another version of him where instead of being like a like dark crimson red, it was kind of like a purple. And uh, the paint job on him is pretty nice too because like his skin is gray and he's supposed to be like the complete opposite of Superman so he's like not very handsome. He's like really kind of like really ugly. Teeth are yellow, eyes yellow, um, gray skin. And he's supposed to be kind of misshapen too, like, you can see how, like, his upper part, like, the upper part of his body, his torso is, like, kind of wider and stupid looking. <laughs> and then his cape has, like, all these holes in it. Kind of looks like a zombie, but he's not. Oh, uh, and then he also, uh, has the signature backwards S, which I really liked. And, uh, his haircut is kind of like a buzz cut, but whatever. For, uh... Articulation, he does the same things that all the DC Universe classics have, like for articulation, he has a uh, 360 waist articulation, uh, bends at the torso, arms can go in and out, 360 degrees around, uh, rotate 360 degrees at the upper bicep, in and out at the elbow, 360 degrees around the wrist. Legs can go in and out, up and down, uh, rotate up the upper thigh area, 360 degrees, uh, bend at the knee, bend at the ankle, and I don't know if I said this already, but uh, full 360 degrees of head articulation as well as go up and down. <clears throat> For accessories, he came with his... Uh, Signature uh, Bizarro number one necklace. I don't know if you can see that. Bizarro number one. I got him from the uh, diorama series of the uh, DC superheroes figures. So he came with this uh, kind of stand that you can stand him up on, like that. Uh, it says Bizarro right there. It has the Superman symbol. And also, like, in the background, it's, like, a little portal, and then, like, it looks like exploding chunks of Krypton or something like that, maybe. And, uh, another accessory he came with was this, like, axle thing with a tire attached to it. It's, it kind of just snaps in his hand like that, and then you can just pick him up and have him on display on this, uh, diorama right here. Like that. If it would stay. Like that, that's how I usually have him posed uh, with all my other DC Universe classic figures. That's pretty much it for this review. See you later.